summer is coming to Germany and with it the ice cream yes. culture. Did you know that every German on average eats around yeah. eight liters of ice cream per year? That's around 114 scoops. That's a lot. In this video, we will explore the difference between ice cream and gelato because it is not the same, the culture of eating it in Germany, and tips on how you can order your delicious ice cream from the ice dealer. Hey, my name is Jen and I'm from Guatemala. And mine is Yvonne and I'm German. And together we're from Simple Germany, where we create English content to help internationals settle into life in Germany more smoothly. smoothly. <laughs> Additionally to this YouTube channel, we also run our website simplejourney.com. There we have written in-depth guides on topics that we don't cover on YouTube, so be sure to check that out as well. In Germany, the most popular ice cream is the one that you get from the ice dealers. Or ice, ice dealer. dealer. <laughs> so the ice cream parlor. The ice cream parlors. Of course, you can get ice cream at the supermarket, Ooh. at any supermarket. You see the reaction. However, we're going to focus in this video just on the ice cream you get from the ice cream parlor. Yes. But it's not ice cream. I'm surprised you haven't corrected me yet. It is it's gelato. Mm -hmm. And there is a big difference. So let's talk about the difference. First of all, I'm going to talk about ice cream and you're gonna talk about gelato. Ice cream has around between 10 and 16% of fat. While gelato only has between four and 8% of fat. Ice cream is served at a lower temperature. And gelato is served at a higher temperature. That being said, it's still cold. <laughs> it's just warmer than the ice cream, which makes it more scoopable. The ice cream ingredients are milk, cream, sugar, and sometimes egg yolk. And the gelato ingredients are more milk than in ice cream, less cream, less sugar, and no, no, egg yolks. Which leads to prove Ivan's theory that ice cream, how do you say in German? I, I used to always say ice is kind of süß, so like <laughs> ice is not a sweet, you know, like ice cream in that sense, gelato. And uh, it pretty much is my argument to say you can eat it as many times as you want as a summer snack without feeling guilty or conscious about your weight, health, um, <laughs> like nutrition or anything, because you know, it's, it's quite healthy. It's a relatively healthy dessert, let's say. <laughs> Okay, now let's do some fun facts about gelato, which I have found very amusing. So, first of all, in 2018, there was a study which proved that actually the majority of Germans ordered two scoops of ice cream in the ice dealer. Yep, I ordered two scoops at 90% of the time. Me too. The way that you order ice cream in Germany is it goes by scoops and not by size of cone or, or um, cup. cup. There you go. So usually, like also in other European countries, you define first the size of the cup and then you choose as many flavors as you want and they just match it all in that cup. In Germany, it works the other way around. You define the size of your ice cream by how many scoops you choose. Mm. And depending on how many scoops you say, they choose the size of the cup or the cone. And then each scoop is a flavor. Of course, you can have all the scoops in the same flavor, but you would never have like half a, scoop, half a scoop of this flavor and half a scoop of that flavor is per scoop one flavor. Another fun fact is that in 2019, Germany was actually, I, I need to smile about this, is the country that produced the most amount of ice cream you of Europe. Gelato. Ah, gelato, yes, gelato of Europe. So Germany produced 634.7 million liters of gelato. That's pretty impressive. And people are like, oh no, but Italy is a country of gelato. They came at second place with 553.5 million liters. Maybe I should do a little like excursion here, like a short story time telling. travel. Time travel, short <laughs> storytelling time. Uh, the reason why gelato is so popular in Germany and why we are actually producing more than the Italians is because most of the gelato and the ice cream parlors, the ice dealer in Germany, are owned by Italians. Mm. And that goes back to after World War II, we uh, needed foreign workers to rebuild and get the economy pumping again. And we had lots of so-called um, like guest workers, Gastarbeiter mm. from Italy and other countries. And a lot of them stayed um, and are still living in Germany, uh, or a lot of them like brought the culture of gelato. And uh, it's most of the ice dealers are owned by Italians. And some of them live here, some of them actually go back to Italy for winter and come back for, uh, to Germany for the ice cream season. This is so interesting because it's true. In 2019, Der Welt, is it called? Die Welt. Die Welt, which is a popular <laughs> news site in Germany, did a documentary where they show that the majority of ice dealers, as you have mentioned, are owned by Italians. And alone in Germany, unfortunately, the numbers have been uh, lowering ever since the pandemic in 2020. But before that, there were over 5,000 ice dealers, ice cream parlors, gelato parlors in Germany. <laughs> 
And out of those, the majority were earned by Italians, as you mentioned. Yeah. And in regards to the most popular flavor, in 2017, a report showed that the most popular flavor is actually vanilla. Boring. Followed by other combinations, as they call it, which I would say if you're in Germany, you need to go oh, like wow. this. Other combinations, um, which could be anything really. Right. And I think this is, there is no like name for it because each ice cream uh, parlor, like each ice dealer, um, usually has their own sorts of flavors that they create, hmm. depending on how good or not good they are and you will be able to tell the difference yes. and the more like young and fresh and modern they are the more new flavors and mm. experiments they also come up with each summer so it's very exciting to actually try the new flavors so other flavors <laughs> uh, like other mixtures is usually um, undefined new dimensions yeah that's true which leads what is your favorite ice cream flavor amarena and mango mm. mine is uh, malaga and uh, anything that has to do with peanut tea flavors and when leads to our question, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Exactly, Sorry. let us know in the comments below. Gelato flavor. <laughs> <laughs> actually, our ice cream dealer by the gelato dealer by our house, actually, they do a very delicious fig and walnut uh, ice cream. Oh, my God. That one is my absolute favorite, but you cannot have that everywhere, to be no, honest. No, definitely so, not. That's why I went for the global standard ones. <laughs> if you're liking this video so far, please be sure to also give it a thumb up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel and would like to or think it's about time, then you can do so right now on this big red button down there. <laughs> and if you would like to go the extra mile, then you can of course support us, this channel and our website by buying us a virtual coffee under simplejommy slash coffee. Thanks for your support. And of course, we cannot do a video about ice cream in Germany without touching the topic of spaghetti ice. Spaghetti what? <laughs> exactly. Which is an ice cream that literally looks like spaghetti. Right. So we need to distinguish here that we've been talking about scoops so far, but next to like taking uh, scoops on like to go to eat like while you're leaving the ice cream parlor, you can of course also sit down and enjoy a bigger cup of ice cream, which is usually decorated with some fruits or nuts or whatever you choose. Mm -hmm. And one of those cups, which you can also take to go, it's like the benefit of this one, <laughs> is called spaghetti ice. And what is this cup called in German? Becher. An Becher. ice becher. So I was very curious about the spaghetti ice because I had not seen this anywhere else in the world. And hold and behold, it is very unique to Germany, actually. Ice dealers in Germany sell over 30 million of spaghetti ice across the country. And how did this even become a thing? It turns out that a son of an Italian uh, who had his ice dealer in Mannheim wanted to create something different. And on holiday, the story goes that on holiday, he saw someone doing something really cool with the potatoes that looked like noodles and he wanted to reproduce the same with ice cream, gelato. And it took him quite some time to actually nail the concept until he came up with spaghetti ice. And it became a massive thing in Mannheim. So if you're from the area, you can definitely go visit the origin of the um, spaghetti ice. And at the beginning, he says that also when kids would get the ice cream, they would cry. Because they'd be like, I didn't order noodles or like spaghetti as they call it, noodles as they call it in German. I ordered ice. And then when they would try it, pff, their mind would be blown away. So what happens is that the vanilla ice cream, so maybe that's also why it's a favorite flavor. Ah, you know? maybe, uh, maybe. Vanilla ice cream gets like pushed through this tool that you usually make spaghetti. And then there's this beautiful, delicious uh, uh, strawberry sauce on top mm -hmm. with some white chocolate sprinkles, like the Parmesan. And uh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so now, what can you expect from eating ice in Germany? So first you of all, gelato? ice, I said it in German. Ah. Ah, because in German, you actually call it ice yeah. and not gelato. It's yeah. just ice. Yeah. Um, so first of all, is that not all ice dealers are created equally, as you have already pointed out Correct. before. So this means that, of course, the quality of the ice dealer will depend on the ice dealer Highly. itself. Yes. Um, I remember an Italian friend once told me that how you can see the quality of an ice dealer is by the color of the pistachio flavor of ice and cream. I would argue you see the quality of the ice dealer in your local area or the area that you're visiting by the line of people that are outside on a hot summer day. Yes. And believe me, if the line is long, sometimes 50 meters or so, it is worth standing in line unless you're in a hurry. Yes. Don't go to the ones that don't have a line. There is no line for a reason. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> so as we already mentioned, every ice dealer has kind of like their own flavors that they create. But at least in my opinion, the good ones not only offer that, but they also offer vegan options, lactose-free options and sugar-free options. Yeah. And depending on where you live, the ice cream prices vary a little bit. It used to be on average like 120 euros per scoop. However, we've researched that, for example, in Munich, the scoop costs actually two euro and 10, which what? is like quite expensive for German standards. Our famous uh, favorite uh, ice dealer uh, here around the corner and recently increased to 150 per scoop probably also because of recent events and just general costs increasing hmm. however if we consider these prices for like 
Europe or even worldwide standard, they are extremely cheap for the quality that you get and the sizes of the scoops that you get um, compared to other countries. I agree. In the US, we paid $5 per scoop. Not just the US. Also, at the moment you go to Italy, you go to France, mm, Spain, you easily pay 253 euro per scoop. Yeah, that's true. Which I'm curious. If you live in Munich, does it really cost 210 for a scoop of ice cream? Let us know in the comments below. So how do you order an ice in Germany? At the parlor, you pre-select, you should you already need to eye like which flavor you want because there's a long line, you don't want to keep them waiting. <laughs> and then you pretty much say the number of scoops you want. Ich möchte eine Kugel, zwei Kugeln, wait, zwei Kugeln, <laughs> drei Kugeln, vier Kugeln, Kugel. fünf Kugeln. Wow. Uh, you, you pretty much say the number and the word Kugel, which means scoop. I must also interrupt you, sorry, if you find an ice cream that might be interesting, and again, if this is a good ice dealer, you can ask to try that ice cream. True. Gelato. Ice. <laughs> yes. And how would you always say, darf ich das probieren, bitte? Genau, richtig. Yeah. Oh, Sehr gut. Yes. You get a little, uh, little spoon and you can, you know, try it. Yeah. Then you will most likely, after you've announced how many scoops you want, uh, whether you would like it in a becher or mm. in the waffle. Mm. Becher means cup, waffle means the cone. Then you say Becher, Waffel, and then they will choose the size according to the number of scoops you had. Mm -hmm. And then they will eagerly await for you to say which flavor, also, welche Eissorte, mm -hmm. which, which ice cream flavor. Mm -hmm. right? And then you can say it, point it, whichever. And then they might even ask you whether you want eine Waffel, if you take a cup, whether you want a Waffel on it. And then they put like this little round cone um, plat waffle. waffle thing on top of it. <laughs> yes, and then they will give you the amount that you need to pay. And usually uh, you can only pay with cash. Yeah, most often or not. So be prepared to have cash. Yeah, and if not, the way you can ask is etze karte oder bar. You can ask if etze karte meaning to pay with card and bar means cash. But generally speaking, I would recommend take cash to the Me ice too. cream parlor. Yeah. So eating ice cream, sorry, gelato, is like one of our favorite things to do during yes. summer. And ice dealers open as soon as the weather in Germany turns to sunshine and they usually stay open until the sunshine goes away. So it might be as early as March, sometimes April, and it might be as long as October-ish. That's usually the latest the when latest. they close. I agree. So yeah. as soon as the ice cream dealers are open, please, if you like ice cream, go and enjoy them. <laughs> if you're curious about other favorite foods in Germany, make sure to check out our video on 10 foods Germans can't live without, which is coming up next. Until next time, cheers!